Hello again and welcome back to the second channel. Today I have a little internet saga for you that I'm surprised hasn't been covered in its entirety, that while I'm certain you may be familiar with this individual story, that captured the internet's attention but no one seems to have pointed out what actually happened. And this seems to be one of those instances of a small town finally having something interesting happen in it. Or at least that's what they want you to think. Now I want to play this clip to you out of context, and you've probably seen it before. You may be familiar with the Richmond TV head or this individual topic, but bear with me as I go over the details. Because almost all the news outlets that initially covered this story left a lot of details out. The start of this phenomenon began on August 23rd, 2018, when a local news station reported 20 plus TVs being dropped off in a small suburb. And to fully give you the setting and context, I want to start you off with this very awkward local news segment. Right now, Henrico police tell us they're investigating this bizarre case. More than two dozen families discovering these old televisions on their doorsteps. And tonight, it's leaving them with an uneasy feeling. People calling them Trojan horses. Don't put them inside your house. Who knows what could happen? A discovery from the past. It looks like a TV from Back to the Future. <laughs> For Robin Shore. It's weird. It is so weird. This Henrico mother now possesses some vintage technology that she didn't ask for. No idea where it came from or how it got here, but it's here. Shore says sometime between nine Wednesday night and Thursday morning, someone abandoned this 1986 Toshiba black stripe on the front porch of her Gray Oak neighborhood home in Henrico. They're heavy. Her husband snapped this photo. He took a picture of it and sent it to me and said, Amazon must be getting lazy. Where did you want this? But Shore didn't order it and discovered on social media that her family wasn't alone. Apparently down the road, they have lots of TVs delivered to their houses. I didn't know what to think. Shelly Parker discovered a large TV on her steps too. My neighbor had gotten one and then I noticed there were more TVs on everyone's doorstep, kind of the same way facing like that. Homeowners estimate someone delivered more than 20 old school box televisions on front porches throughout the entire neighborhood. It takes effort to lift those. Those are not little light flat screen TVs. The neighbors I spoke to say they don't believe there's a sinister reason behind why someone mysteriously dumped all these TVs. Not really sure what would motivate someone to do it. Well, I'd like to know who did it. I mean, I just think it's if it's a prank, it's just random and kind of just kind of weird. It's weird, she says. And now police tell me it's unclear whether or not this individual actually committed a crime because we still don't know why they did it. And now these families are left trying to figure out what to do with all these old TVs. Working for you in Henrico County, I'm Brendan King, CBS 6 News. I think it's very interesting to consider that absolutely nothing was going on in this town that they felt the need to go out and record a full segment with an interview on this. I want you to keep in mind that on the first go around, this person was never caught on camera, likely due to the fact that these kinds of video surveillance doorbells weren't nearly as widespread the next year around. Not many people know that this happened a year prior and it didn't receive any attention and it was just another blip on the internet. And it would take the TV head a full year to make his first appearance and in this news clip, when the event would finally happen on August 11th, 2019, I want you to pay attention very closely in this next news clip and see if you see anything suspicious. 
Who's this dude wearing, of all things, a television on his head? And why in the world is he leaving an old-fashioned box TV on a stranger's front porch? It's a mystery that's baffling police outside Richmond, Virginia. It usually happens around midnight, and TV dude is apparently fully aware he's on surveillance video. Watch him wave at the camera. As of this week, he's delivered at least 60 TV sets. One looks like a tube television set manufactured in 1986 by Toshiba. Oh my God, they're everywhere. These guys all woke up to a TV set left on their doorsteps. I woke up to a bunch of phone calls telling me to, to check my front porch. <laughs> so I did, and there was an old TV sitting out there. On the Tell me what you saw on the ring doorbell and what you thought. I was like, whoa, like, I was like, that's, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of creepy. The three guys thought it was so nuts, they drove around the neighborhood, pointing out all the TVs left on the front porches. That's another big one. This team just discovered the set on her doorstep. The guys were on the scene when police got there to investigate and loaded all the TVs on a truck. Max Schumann opened the front door to also find a surprise. This is the TV that was left at my doorstep. He says his brother took it apart to see if there was anything dangerous inside. They found it was a regular TV, old but still working. For now, TV dude remains on the loose. But if he's going to be so generous, maybe he should consider leaving a more modern flat screen TV. And while this news report would show the most comprehensive footage out of any of the other reports at the time, as literally everyone was picking up on this story, including YouTubers alike, it's really amazing to me that not a single one of them checked where that footage actually came from. Because while that news clip was posted on August 14th, it originated on August 11th, 2019 on a YouTube channel that we will get to in a moment. After all of the ad dollars had been made for these various news stations, the local news would do a follow-up. The local news would state that they may or may not have found the individual responsible, but decided to not disclose his name, despite having a search warrant. Bill, the search warrants for the search warrants for the Western Henrico County home in Twin Hickory are very detailed, involving an abandoned building here behind me in Goochland County, a drop-off, a TV drop-off at Deep Run High School. Crime Insider sources tell me police say there's no longer a mystery about the man behind the mask. On Shadow Run Lane, a search warrant sheds light on an investigation and Ryko detectives have channeled their energy into for the past three weeks. It seems like a practical joke kind of a thing. Uh, kind of surprised it would happen here though. August 11th, in the overnight hours, this guy, dubbed TV Head, made his rounds, dropping off more than 50 old TVs on random porches in Glen Allen. His deliveries with a wave and maybe a smile. I'd probably get a slight chuckle uh, just because I'd be like, oh, you know, what is this thing doing here? And then not think too much of it and just throw it in the back of the truck and then take it down to the dump. Harry MacGyver lives down the street from this home. Crime Insider sources say more than half a dozen officers, including a detective, searched the property around 11 Friday morning. I tried to get the 19 year old person of interest to the door for his side of the story, but no answer. The warrant states the man can face three charges, dumping trash, trespassing, and felony wearing a mask in public. They're gonna have to prove it with circumstantial evidence. So the, the, any evidence of, that his sister's involved, you know, they can tie her to him potentially. Um, the, the clothing, if they did search warrants and they recovered clothing, they could potentially match that up with what they've captured on the surveillance cameras. So they would have to piece it together with all that information. Court documents show both. The young man's sister was caught dropping TVs off on the sidewalk of Deep Run High and spray painting senior on them, which she confesses to police is senior, pronounced with a lisp. Court documents also revealing that the teen was caught by Goochland deputies around a building recently burglarized. More than 30 TVs stashed inside an old abandoned building being demolished by S.B. Cox. CBS 6 legal expert Todd Stone says stay tuned to see how this one plays out. One thing the prosecutor has is a lot of leverage because there could be multiple counts for each day that he's out putting televisions on people's porches. And te technically, Bill and Candace, Todd Stone says the man could be charged with 52 felonies for wearing the TV head mask, likely 
Probably not. The young man has not been arrested. We will release his name once police pick him up. Working for you in Goochland County tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. This time, the TV head had gained a kind of fandom on Reddit and other websites for drawing fan art of him. So a lot of people were upset to hear all of these charges that could be alleged against the individual. And I have to hand it to a YouTube channel by the name of Internet Today for at least actually digging into the topic before they reported on it. Because they basically figured the whole thing out in three days while the police wasted three weeks of their time. Because if you had actually checked where that footage had come from, you would know it came from Zach Levitt, who was a YouTube vlogger. To which, in the video titled, Why Is This Person Leaving Old TVs on Doorsteps?, the description would read, You wouldn't believe this actually happened. 10,000 likes for part two. And while it is a tragedy that he only got 4,000 likes, moving on, for a moment, let's pretend like we're a journalist who cares about our journalistic integrity and just watch the first few seconds of this video and tell me what you think. Everything that you see in this video is as I experienced it. I did not perform these acts, nor do I have anything to do with them. This video is for entertainment purposes, but centered around true events that occurred on August 11, 2019. He starts the video off saying he has nothing to do with it. Dude, I, I, didn't, I didn't accuse you of anything. August 11th seemed to be a standard Sunday in Richmond, Virginia. All the signs were pointing to it being a really relaxed day until I pulled up Instagram. I started scrolling through my feed and I pulled up this story. Okay, so I just woke up and I'm not even playing ever in my neighborhood last night. It was left a TV on their porch. Gotta love the scary music. Like the average person, yeah, you just, <laughs> if this happened, you'd be like, oh, that's kind of weird. You know, someone left a TV. He's, he's like, I gotta post this on social media right now. <laughs> this whole thing's so stupid. Something that you guys may not know is that this wouldn't be the first time that this has happened in our area. Just last year, something very similar happened. Well, right now, Henrico police tell us they're investigating this bizarre case more than two dozen. It's really interesting that he knows so much about this topic, including the fact that this happened a year prior in the neighborhood next to him. I mean, the cops haven't even shown up yet. Yeah, everyone. You like? Are you moving in? in? Are you moving it in your house? Oh, you're putting it back. Huh? You're putting it back. Yeah. Why? Wait, why? You notice that quick change in tone when he hears the cops are coming. Wait, why? Wait, why? Why? Oh, so it doesn't look like you did it? A prank. Uh, cop cars. But as the minutes passed, the cops started arriving faster and faster. More of them were piling up in the streets. Oh my gosh, so many TVs. And the tension started to rise. Literally, like, <laughs> this is, I want to get up the news guys over there. I want to get up. Wait, they're over there? I, I'm betting money that's going on. Wait, is, there, is the news over yeah. there? Go, go, go. He's like, haul ass, we gotta go tell the news. This would be so good for my YouTube channel. I was like, whoa, like, I was like, that's, it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of creepy. The three guys thought it was so nuts. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre how, how nuts they find this situation. All right, I'm gonna cut the bullshit. When you're looking at any kind of situation like this, you have to look at who is going to benefit. Zach knows that this story got picked up by the news last time, and given the fact that he had just dropped out of college in this video that he even mentions that. Eddie, I wanted to take that to college. I dropped out of that. <laughs> he is probably looking to get a little bit more serious with his YouTube channel. They would also have to have had a large storage space to transport all of those TVs. And it just so happened that Zach, a week prior, had just done a full van restoration that he planned on using for creating content for his channel just a week prior. And I mean, he is also 19, which seems to correspond with the individual report that we were given from the follow-up <laughs> news story at the time. It's amazing how much he wanted to talk to everyone in his neighborhood about these TVs, and you were so excited to announce that your vlog had made it on Inside Edition. <laughs> to check my front porch, so I did. <laughs> That's another big one. <laughs> I tried to get the 19-year-old person of interest to the door for his side of the story, but no answer. The warrant states the man can face three charges, dumping trash, trespassing, 
and felony wearing a mask in public. Technically, Bill and Candace, Todd Stone says the man could be charged with 52 felonies for wearing the TV head mask. The man has not been arrested. We will release his name once police pick him up. Well, I believe Zach is doing just fine from the situation. Maybe next time, don't waste police resources on your YouTube prank. This is Barely Sociable. Have a good night.